guys, welcome to Office Blokes Reacts. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I am Office Bloke Daz. Collectively, we are the Office Blokes. Two of them. Yeah, Mike's a bit quiet today. I don't know what's mm. up with him. Mike? Mm. <laughs> anyway, uh, to all the YouTube channels, Patreon page, social media, merch, all that good stuff. Click the link below and it will take you where you need to go unless you want one of these, in which case you're going to have to be patient. There will be a big launch coming soon. A drop. A drop. Yeah. That's where Mike is. I've sent him stitching. To, I've sent no, I've sent him to Indonesia to try and source us a cheaper manufacturer. <laughs> so <laughs> see you later, Mike. Uh, right, ten most luxurious RVs in the world. Yeah, I feel like th I mean that first one says Winnebago. Yeah. I feel like Winnebago as a brand have a bit yeah. of a bad rep. Do they? Because when people go. I don't want to go on holiday in a Winnebago. It's kind of the, you know, like a... a Hoover. Yeah, Hoover mm. Mm. with vacuum cleaner. It's the same thing. Winnebago is just the blanket term, isn't it? Yeah, but I think they're one of the top brands, aren't they? Yeah. Same as Hoover. Yeah. Hoover are one of the top yeah. brands for vacuum cleaners. I remember, I don't know if it'll be on this or not, but years ago, Top Gear had one of these on that was, I think, a million quid to buy. Mm. And they stood next to it and pressed the button and it went... <laughs> Lotus Elise mm. just comes out the bottom. It's like that that is it <laughs> there's some luxury on these though and it's yeah. uh they're not the, i'm not a big camper guy i don't like camping i and like i like being this, in this ain't camping though no. no it's not camping mm. that's i prefer this is road trip i prefer being in a tent to a camper van or a caravan because camper vans and caravans are basically tiny houses so you're going away with your family to be in a house that's quarter of the size of your normal mm. house and you're going to expect not to piss each other off mm. whereas in a tent you've got a bedroom which is your tent and then the rest of the world is like your house so you just hang around outside and it just feels more free and open in a tent nah, fuck it man that's what hotels are for <laughs> I love staying in tents anyway Hotel we'll get for me. we'll get into it 10 most luxurious RVs in the world let's do this what do you think Mike? Nothing says freedom more than a good old-fashioned camping trip. Tents are great, caravans better, but nothing beats the adventure that comes with owning a full-sized drivable rig. In today's video, oh we're looking God. at the most luxurious RVs That's with horrific. price tags that will leave you speechless. The Winnebago Horizon. Winnebago is a household name in the world of RVs, so it's no surprise that they have an ultra-luxury offering up for grabs. Their flagship model, the Horizon, is the best performing RV in the Winnebago lineup, blending ultimate driving performance with uncompromising comfort. The Horizon is laden with luxury trim and cool gadgetry throughout. Inside, you are blessed wow. with a full galley interior that is reminiscent of a luxury villa. The kitchen is huge and features a French door fridge, double stainless steel sink, and bespoke countertops, including Stow breakfast counter. Despite its humongous size, the Horizon only sleeps four, but what it lacks in berth, it more than makes up for in space and luxury furnishings. The master bedroom houses built-in wardrobes, a walk-around double bed, and ensuite access to the stunning his and hers shower room. The class of this amazing RV... His and hers shower room. Imagine if it was just a his shower room. Mm. <laughs> it's like, you don't get to come in here. It's a his shower room. No, I think his and hers is two of them, isn't they? Oh, is it two at a time? No, it's one, one on one side, one on the other. His and hers. Uh, it could be his and his. Yeah, it could be his and his, yeah. Couldn't it, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> Continues to the exterior, too. The Horizon is built for long-stay pitches and is perfect for entertaining. There is a gigantic automated wow. awning, exterior TV soundbar combo, an easy access garage, and an outside refrigerator that is perfect for barbecues and cooling down cases of beer on game day. The cost of ownership for this beauty starts at $435,000. Integra Coach Cornerstone 45 DLQ. With a traditional cab forward design, revolutionary smart wheel steering, and the latest mobile eye touchscreen technology, the Integra Coach Cornerstone 45 DLQ is a high tech bus that is perfect for travelers that love to move around in something big and proud. The 45 DLQ houses a 650 horsepower Cummings engine that offers incredible power with a silky smooth delivery, the ultimate companion for eating up miles on the highway in between pitches. The interior of this Integra coach features a standalone bathroom, walk-in closets, a fixed double bed, two pull-out sofas, and a kitchen that offers more Look counter space than those found in most apartments. Optional extras include cinema-style recliners, TV and fireplace entertainment centre and solar panels for those who plan on going off the beaten track. 
This special RV also features a pair of wide berth extenders that make the already spacious interior even greater. Prices for the Integra Coach Cornerstone 45 DLQ starts at $464,000, but can stretch well beyond that when mm. you start ticking off the extras and adding in custom decal paint jobs. SLR. Well, that one looks cool. That's uh, it's, it's mind boggling, isn't it? There must be people, right, in America who go to the games in one of these. Well, I think he alluded to that, he didn't said, he? on game day. Yeah, yeah. like pre-game. Because I want to come over, man, and just hang out with you for yeah. pre-game. You know, yeah. Coming over for the Super Bowl, by the way. To be fair, I really do want to do the whole tailgating thing. Mm. That, that's on my list. But we don't have the roads for stuff like that in this country. No, no. You, you've got the motorways, and it's, it can fit a coach. Yeah. And most roads can take <laughs> a coach sort of thing, a bus. Yeah, it's, it's pretty easy for that. But um, I get it in America yeah. where you've got the big, wide open roads, mm. just you know, so much space. Imagine one of them for like away days. Get all your mates on there, stop <sighs> it with beer. Away Sleep's days. four. I'd be like, sorry, mate. So there's only four of us. You're not sleeping. <laughs> I'm not saying sleeping, but it's you know, it's, it's, it's a four berth. You're gonna have to get a taxi, mate. <laughs> <laughs> not sitting on my recliner. <laughs> Commander four by four. The SLR Commander 4x4 might not scream luxury and comfort, but just trust me on this one. This beast is the most luxurious and capable expedition RV on the market today. The exterior of the Commander has been routinely mistaken for a bin lorry, but don't let the utilitarian <laughs> look put yeah. you off. You'll be amazed at what this RV has to offer. Using only the finest materials, the Commander's interior is fit for a globe-trotting king. Inside, you'll find a modular living space that makes the most of the limited size. The experience feels incredibly spacious and is perfect for those who like to travel cross-country in both comfort and style. That's cool. The Commander is fully self-contained and is home to everything that you might need on a long-haul trip. The fuel tank is big enough to take you 2,000 miles between pit stops and the off-grid setup will see you through even the longest of unconnected detours. SLR will set your Commander up to your desired specifications, so there are no limits to finding your perfect configuration. The price for an SLR Commander Expedition RV starts at $450,000, but a full-spec version will tip the scales at over half a million dollars. Monaco Signature... That's, that's the one for when the zombies come, isn't it? I want some like this, me. This it's is it. me. I'd, I'd be off-road, I'd be, I'd be goners in, Take the red in, in that it. one before. That's just like a coach, that, isn't it? it? A couple of these are. That other one, um, it was a truck company that made it, mm. wasn't it? And mm. it, was, it was like a small truck. Mm. And then the Commander one, you mean? The man, M-A-N. Oh, man, oh, yeah, yeah. The 44M. The Monaco Signature is the luxury RV brand's most expensive coach to date, and it does not disappoint. The Signature model is described as more of an experience than a motorhome, which is an accurate statement to say the least. The Signature is available in four different configurations, with the 44M being the most luxurious and spacious. Midnight, Coming in yeah. at just under 44 feet, this RV is huge and has more than enough room to accommodate a family of four. The Signature is a stunning bus by any standard, and the interior reminds me of a country stately home with its wood trim and mm. solid furnishings. On board, there are two toilets and a massive master bedroom, a fully fitted kitchen, lounge complete with leather recliners, and a TV area paired with a stunning fireplace. There is a long list of optional extras to choose from when putting together your Monaco Signature, from bespoke tiling to technology packages to a second awning that will set you back a further $5,000. The price for a full spec model will come in at around five hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars. Wow! Newmar King Air. Oh, wow, that's a beast. The it? Newmar King Air sets the bar high for all rivaling luxury RVs and has one of the finest interiors out of any coach that's on the nice, roads today. Mm. Up front is a set of stunning Italian leather sofas, where owners can make the most out of the upgraded entertainment system that features an 8K Ultra HD Samsung TV and immersive surround sound. The entire. Just wait till Tesla get involved. I know they are building a truck, but you know what Elon Musk's like for having his weird, quirky, luxurious sort of stuff. The Tesla. Yeah, but these have been doing this. these. These are experienced in this. Oh, I know. Yeah, you know I, mean? I know. But when you're kind of grandfathered in when your company's been doing it for 40, 50 yeah. years, you may have tunnel vision with certain things. Sometimes when you're a newbie coming into a thing. I don't know, mate. These are ultra modern. Look at that. <laughs> oh, it looks, it looks stunning. I'm not taking anything away from it. But it's just, uh, I mean, they're all mind-boggling. Mm. It's not why I'd spend Midnight. half a million quid on that. I don't know. If you've, got, if you've got that kind of money, why not? I get it for, I, I, I can see a lot of people, especially in the States where you've got the big roads, retiring, mm. buying one of them, selling up, and just 
being nomads, just living on the road. It'd be great to like hire one and just you know dick about coast to coast and then. Uh, oh yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be well up for it. Mm. A bespoke kitchen features quartz countertops, a marble backsplash, and opulent stainless steel accents. Above the counters sits an array of mirror finish European cabinets that house all sorts of amenities, including a built-in microwave oven. Also in the kitchen is a full Ooh, Ooh, microwave. <laughs> just <Talk about. laughs> a built-in microwave oven. It's yeah. like spending half a million quid, mate. Yeah, I don't want a microwave. <laughs> I want a <the> chef. <laughs> Quartz dining area with custom made chairs specially designed for this model. Channel mood lighting draws you through the coach to the rear where the master bedroom, bathroom and walk-in wardrobe reside. The starting price for the King Air is $738,000. Wow. However, it's very easy to spec this model up to seven figures. The Cami Terra Wind. If you're struggling oh. to choose between a luxury no RV way. and a swanky yacht, then look no further than the Terra Wind from Cami. Cami has been building wacky and wonderful amphibious motors since the 90s, but this is by far their most stunning creation. The Terra Wind is a stunning RV with all the bells and whistles that is equally as comfortable on the roads as it is in the lakes. With a top speed of 80 miles per hour on tarmac and seven knots in water, it is by no means a slouch either. No expense is spared on creating That's the ultimate nuts. luxury experience, and every Terra Wind is built to order, so it can be custom designed to fit virtually any decor. Floor plans. I wonder how many of them they sell though. So if you've many? got that kind of money, you'd probably buy a, a Winnebago, you know, or whatever you call them. That's, you, know, you just call them all the way. Yeah, right? yeah. You'd probably buy like one, the one before and a boat, wouldn't you? You wouldn't want one that combines the both. It does seem like a it bit of a It looks shit on the water. It looks great on the road, but shit on the water. Uh, you know, obviously, those buoyancy aids either side would mm. stop it tipping over as well, because I guarantee without them, slight bit of a wave and you're on your side. Yeah, but you see some of these yachts that are on the water, they look fucking nice. Yeah. And then you see some of the... That, that, that just likes a, looks out of place. Looks wrong. It's a bit unnecessary, mm. isn't it? You'd be better off having like a nice speedboat that that's you're what I'm saying, and then you can go and have your fun while that's parked. Well, you, you camp where the near the, the the marina is or whatever. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean, yeah, just doesn't look right. It's 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 clever. It's really clever, but is it? That's what I'm saying. I wonder how many they sell. And how many do they need to sell though? What's the manufacturing cost? Well, it's made to order. If this is a million quid each or whatever, and it costs them six hundred grand, I'm thinking they probably manufacture regular. RVs and then yeah, this is like this is the, one top, one. the yeah. top one. Yeah. Entertainment systems, electronics, cabinetry, floor coverings, furniture, paint, and graphics can all be tailored to suit the buyer's needs. Nice Prices for one of these obscurities are skyward of one million dollars. Four Travel IH45 Luxury Motor Coach. The Four Travel IH45 Luxury Motor Coach separates the good from the great and encapsulates everything that a top-class RV should be. Why do they always put those kind of paint jobs on the side of it? Yeah, though? the go faster stripe thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the sort of thing that I don't think will age well. It might look cool now, but in ten no, years. Yeah, it's it been like for years, though, hasn't it? You look at an old camper van that's twenty years old though, they look every bit of twenty yeah, years old. Yeah, but if you're paying they? a million quid for an RV, you ain't keeping it for twenty years. That's true. I want a dragon on the side of it. <laughs> Each Mike's face on the it's side. Wrapping, it's wrapping anyway. You just take it off and change it. Yeah, true. Coach is custom designed both inside and out to the customer's spec, making for a totally bespoke experience. One of the most noticeable features of the 4Travel IH45 is its aviation-grade chassis that distributes vibrations through the floor, walls and roof to ensure the quietest ride imaginable. I thought it was going Brilliant. to say that it flies as well. <laughs> aviation <laughs> chassis. The IH45 is like the Rolls Royce of RVs. Inside, there are a number of stunning details that make all the difference in a vehicle of this nature. The underfloor heating is amazing in the colder months, and the full-sized bedroom-bathroom combo makes the RV a real home away from home. Love the that. long list of customizable options makes this coach an owner's dream. Although I hope prospective buyers have deep pockets because the 4 Travel IH45 Luxury Motor Coach starts at a hefty $1.3 million. Prevost 45 ESS. The flagship offering from RV manufacturer. Even though I just said about that. the design, that yeah, does that look cool. Beast, that doesn't it? Yeah, that, uh, yeah, I'll concede that one. Yeah. For a four travel, the Prevost 45 Emperor Sauna Suite is an executive vehicle that is a true motoring masterpiece. 
As the name suggests, wow. this stunning RV features a full sauna for those what? who wish to really pamper themselves on their oh, travels. Yeah. But that's not where the spec sheet ends. In fact, this coach has the longest feature list out of any of the RVs in this video. The 45 ESS has four slide-out rooms and fills that enormous space with layers upon layers of tech such as surround sound speaker systems, multiple televisions, a digital art display, a full-size dishwasher, mood lighting and an electric fireplace to name a few. And the tech even spills out onto the exterior, I'll where watch. the 45 ESS houses a 360-degree security camera system, an outdoor slide-out kitchen and even its own high-pressure jet wash cannon for when the RV is due a valet. I'd have a party on that bus, man. Oh, my God. Hey, I'd just... be wrestling some Dory 6 foot <laughs> 250. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm saying 1.5. In the middle of nowhere. About 1.68. 1.6 to 1.8 million. It's such a, I mean, it's... Mint, though, isn't it? After me just saying about the design on the side, when that had the design, it looked amazing. And now the plain white one, I'm thinking... Just looks like a bus. It does yeah. just look like a bus. Mm. Prices for the Prevost 45 Emperor Sauna Suite start at $2 million, but it can quickly creep up considerably more when you start ticking boxes off of the lengthy options list. Featherlight Vantare Platinum Plus The Featherlight Vantare Platinum Plus is one of the most luxurious motors available on the market today and has a refinement level that rivals even the most expensive cars, super yachts and private jets. Built around an already stunning Prevost bus shell, the Vantare Platinum Plus is equipped with some of the most luxurious materials in existence, such as rare Inca marble, copper, pearlized Italian leather, Swarovski crystals, onyx and many more. The amenities are equally as lavish and feature a stainless steel dishwasher, a massive sub-zero refrigerator, multiple Ultra HD TVs, there's even a built-in treadmill. And if all that's not enough, yeah. there's a slide-out garage for your favourite sports car, was that a Morgan as well? Redmill. And if all... It looks like a Morgan, doesn't it? Or is there's a Jag, that, a really old Jag that looks like that, isn't it? the E-Type. Oh, yeah. If it's a Morgan, that's a British car company, isn't it? But these are... Uh, I'm not sure where these are built. I know man's German, isn't it? Man yeah. German. Yeah, I think so. I mean, we used to have a big industry of building caravans and stuff over here because there was no VAT on it. <laughs> caravans. But then the... Uh, the government slapped VAT on it and it almost killed it overnight. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if they ever reversed it, but it was a big deal at one point. That's not enough. There's a slide-out <laughs> garage for your favourite sports car because you never know when you might need to nip into town for a few more bottles of champagne. Being the second most expensive RV in the world means that this masterpiece will set you back no less than $2.5 million. Marci Element Palazzo Superior Bring it would be Italian, wouldn't it, looking like that? <laughs> this is going to be the crazy one, right, isn't you it? you got but Ferrari and you got a It's horrific Lamborghini. looking, though. It's bad, isn't it? It looks like a fish. It looks like one of those does, weird... Yeah, it does, yeah. Together the best of motorsport, aviation and yachting into a stunning RV package, the Marchi Mobile Element Palazzo is second to none in the wonderful world of recreational vehicles. Don't give a shit, though. If you're driving that down the road, everyone's having a look. Everyone. Oh, yeah. That's turning more heads than any other car you can think that's on the road. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you see a McLaren nowadays and you kind of go... That's all around there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, without a doubt, yeah. But look at it. It's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> it's a bit naff looking, isn't it? Yeah. Recognised as the most luxurious and outstanding motorhome in the world, the Palazzo Superior is a real sight to behold. The looks are bold, to say the least, and certainly way ahead of its time, using only high-performance materials such as carbon fibre and advanced composites. The panoramic cockpit is very obviously inspired by that of a private jet, but still functions like a luxury limousine. Mm. The interior has a wow. huge 4 metre long couch area, a wine bar, an ice maker, a cinema TV screen what? and a kitchenette. And if the luxury master bedroom wasn't enough, there's also an adjacent spa area with light therapy, a rainfall shower and steam room. Is, this one, is it just going to go like that in a second as mm. well? That's mint. That. That's, the, that's the one for going to the game on. Mm. With that, that yeah. big seating area. Yeah. On the roof of the RV is a full decking area, which is perfect for al fresco dining in style. Given all the stunning features, the Palazzo Superior is the most expensive vehicle of its kind and costs a staggering $3 million. That was great. Brilliant. That. Yeah. Yeah, mm. I actually really enjoyed that. Yeah, it's something there I'd love. I wouldn't want to own one. No, no. I'd, I'd probably get bored after a week with that. 
for, for me that would be like I said flying over to the states and you're going to do like you know people do route 66 coast and then coast, stop yeah. along the way mm. and that's what that would be for for me I just want to go out in the middle of nowhere do you know like in uh, where they uh, bake the crack in uh, where they make the crack in um, bad, Breaking Bad oh yeah, yeah uh, New Mexico in New Mexico mm. isn't it middle yeah. of nowhere get it all geared up rigged up music on <laughs> fucking just get like start cooking just meth. get just get yeah. leather for like five days and then get back in it and fucking drive home yeah well it's i mean that's it is about getting away from civilization mm. something mm. like that isn't it but yeah. still having the luxuries mm. three million dollars is crazy money though but you'd ha i think you'd have to have hundreds of millions to spend three on that yeah it's, it's a luxury isn't it yeah when you, you know you've bought your 10 million dollar house you've got all your sports and cars more. and stuff yeah and then you're like what should we do I uh, still don't think you go for that. I think that's definitely down the line. What do you reckon the depreciation is on one of them? Ride it off the lot, put five miles on it, and it's worth one and a half million. 80 grand yeah. <laughs> auction. Yeah, so it's, it's a very specific set of people that are going to be buying it. You've got to pimp that up, though. You've got to really pimp it up. Yeah. Don't you? That's yeah. just bog standard looking. Well, that's the thing that, the, you know, the one and a half million one that we were looking at, I think it was. Um, and it's like it's an extra five grand for this awning mm. what's that yeah you're not gonna spend one and a half million and then skimp yeah. out on the five grand extra bit some people do mate but that was brilliant i love that yeah it's just, yeah. yeah it's just a, it's a glimpse into how some people live in it that's the thing i bet they're rented out and yeah, i bet there are a yeah. lot of money mm. but i bet that's big business renting them out i went on airbnb um looking for different w wacky places to stay in the uk um well gainer did and then uh, she sends me the links and uh, there was one here in um, in Salford in the Keys and it's a luxury yacht you can rent for the night or however long yeah, yeah. it's right on the Keys and it's a massive luxury yacht like four bedroom and it's like that but obviously it's a boat yeah and it's cheaper than a hotel room wow mm -hmm. nice yeah I know where uh, my bro and his Mrs Becky they stayed on a hotel boat in Amsterdam and uh, I think it was one of the mates that owned it and that was pretty nice by mm. all accounts yeah. and a, you know a quirky cool place yeah. to stay as well i'm down for stuff like that i think mm. it's such a yeah, good same, idea same yeah but i enjoyed that anyway hope you guys enjoyed it too don't forget like and subscribe let us know if you've got one of them <laughs> coming over sign up to our patreon if you've got one of them be generous <laughs> yeah and we'll catch you guys on the next one cheers, cheers. guys <laughs>